Welcome to a brief explanation of the hydroblade turbine system with an oxypropane propulsion system. My main goal in sharing this is to find a group of ambitious students who are able to build and calculate the overall efficiency of this system. In doing so, I hope to discover a unique and cost-effective method for producing electricity. Let me walk you through the process. First, we have a tank of oxygen and a tank of propane. Next, we have a combustion chamber that fills with a mixture of gas and oxygen. Now, if pure oxygen is not available, air can also be used, but this will require an additional chamber, a pressure gauge, a fan, and another valve. Here, we see the combustion chamber extends all the way in to the turbine tank. Now, with an ideal mixture of oxygen and gas, we flip the ignition switch. This will create a spark in the ignition chamber and ignite the mixture of oxygen and gas. The pressure created from the combustion chamber will rapidly force exhaust air out of the numerous discharge valves, creating a stream of bubbles into the water-filled tank. The exhaust bubbles enter each pocket and push them upward. You will notice a current divider in the center of the turbine. This divider allows water to flow with the pockets, creating virtual turbine blades out of water, which has led to the name hydroblade turbine. At the top of the tank, the bubbles are released as the pockets rotate over the upper sprockets. The releasing of the bubbles collapses the pockets, then, with minimum resistance, they will travel down, continuously repeating the process. The lower sprockets rotate over the drive shaft, which extends out of the combustion chamber and into the generator. The generator then converts the usable drive force into electricity. Thank you for viewing this video. Please feel free to email me or leave a comment for more information.